Hi, family and friends. Welcome to TLC's 2 Activity Time. Our theme this week is How Things Grow. And this week we read several books and we talked about gardens. And we learned that in every garden, you need a seed. One of our books was Lola's Garden. And we learned about how she went to the store with her mommy and she bought some seeds. Fruit seeds, vegetable seeds, and she started to plant in her garden. So, we're going to do an activity today, a sensory activity of stamping. And we're going to stamp an apple. Because an apple starts with a seed. So, what you do is, you cut an apple in half. So, you can see the seed inside. As you can see, there's a seed inside. And you explain, you know, the apples start with the seed, then it grows into a tree, then apples grow on the tree, but it starts with a seed, okay? And if you have paint at home, fine, you can use paint. I do not have paint, so I am using food coloring. It's something that many of us have in our house. I'm gonna use food coloring, and the color that I'm using is red, okay? So you just put it on the apple, all over the apple make sure you have some paper so when you stamp the apple you can have paper to stamp it on all right I am using regular white paper printing paper and then you take as you can see it's all fully covered you take the apple and you just Stamp on it. Stamp. And they can do this a couple times. As many times as they like. Um, as the paint starts to wear off, you will start to see the seed that's inside of it. And actually, it forms a shape. And when I'm done, I will show you what I'm talking about. So I don't know if you can really see it, but when you're done and you do the stamping, if you can see really closely, Inside the middle where the seed is, is actually a star shape. So you can talk about the shape, shape of the star. You can talk about how and the apple starts from. You can talk about all of those things. And that is our sensory activity for today. Apple stamping. Okay. Our next activity is the letter of the week. And our letter of the week is G. And this is just something that I just printed out, the letter G. And it says G is for goat, okay? Now it says here, um, G is for goat, you can color, cut, glue, and decorate. So what I'm going to do today is um, just show you how you can get them to color with a regular marker. Okay, you can use a regular marker. I um, will have them color it in first. You can do whatever you like. I will have them color it in. Decorate it first. Uh, they can decorate it if they like. If you want to cut the um, G out first and decorate, you can do it that way. But I am coloring it. Simple color. Just I'm using a pink marker. Just coloring, very simple just so you can get the concept of what I'm doing. Now, as they um, decorating the G, as they're coloring it and putting glitter on it, whatever you would like for me, you want to go over the sound of the G. So you want to go over G, G, G. So you would go over G as they're coloring it, as they're decorating it. And the sound makes G, G, G. G is for goat. G, 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 G is for grapes. 
G, 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 G is for guitar. G, 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 G is for glasses. Going over the um, G. So they can hear it again and start to realize the sound of the G and the words. And, you know, that goes with the G. Okay, so I colored it in, and what I'm going to do is cut out the G. Okay, if your children cannot use scissors yet, you want to make sure that they are child scissors. You want to do hand over hand, your hand over their hand, and cut it with them. Okay, you don't want to cut it for them. Even if they cannot cut, you want to cut it in so they can be learning the concept of cutting, okay? It's something that, you know, you want them to learn, something, a skill that they need to know. All right, so hand over hand is perfect. If they can do it themselves, please allow them to cut out the G themselves. And again, you can go over the sound of it again. Ga, ga, ga. G is for gold. G is for glasses. G is for glitter. G is for go. Going over all of the words that she that starts with G. Okay. Cut out the G. After they decorate it, and then what we're gonna do next is glue it on a piece of paper. And I'm just I'm gonna glue it on a regular white paper. White paper. If you have um, different color construction paper, wonderful. I'm just gonna glue it on a white piece of paper because that's what I have in my house. Okay. Um, take out the paper. Let me get a little paper. Okay. And you didn't have them glue it on. I have stick glue here. And I'm just gonna glue it on. Put the glue on, glue it on. Glue it on the paper. So they have some fine motor skills going on here. Alphabet, some sounds. And then they can decorate around the um, picture if they like. And this is our letter for the week. The letter G, 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 G. All right? Thank you so much for visiting. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.